We're also working a number of major developments tonight in a shocking double murder investigation linked to the abduction of a toddler. Tonight, one man is in custody charged with gunning down two women and kidnapping a two-year-old son of one of the victims. Daniel Rodriguez is accused of breaking into the Johnston home of 40-year-old Evelyn Burgos yesterday and shooting both Burgos and her 25-year-old daughter, Vanessa Perez, to death. Police say Rodriguez then abducted Evelyn Burgos' two-year-old son, Isaiah Perez, who was found wandering near a Providence housing project and is now safely back with relatives. Tonight, we're hearing from a man who was once labeled a suspect in the case. He is now cleared of all charges, and he helped lead investigators to the missing toddler. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell is standing by live with that part of the story. But our in-depth coverage begins in Johnston with Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace. And the god sister of one of the victims, Evelyn Burgos, says Evelyn was in the process of getting a restraining order against her former boyfriend and now alleged double murderer, Daniel Rodriguez. Clearly and unfortunately, those efforts have now come too late. The main focus of this united endeavor was not only to find Isaiah, but to remove a violent fugitive from society and provide closure for family and friends. Johnston Police Chief Richard Tamburini says Daniel Rodriguez is the man who killed two women and kidnapped a little boy. Daniel Rodriguez was arraigned at police headquarters on the following charges. Two counts of murder, one count of kidnapping, an alert Providence police officer found two-year-old Isaiah alone in the Chad Brown area of Providence around 8 o'clock Sunday evening. 13 hours earlier, Isaiah's mother, 40-year-old Evelyn Burgos, and Evelyn's daughter, 25-year-old Vanessa Perez, were murdered in Evelyn's home on Oak Tree Drive in Johnston. The first suspect in this case was Vanessa's boyfriend, Malcolm Crowell. Crowell cooperated fully with investigators and assisted us in locating Isaiah, the missing two-year-old. Crowell is no longer a person of interest. Johnston police are pleased with their progress so far, but realize the greatest challenge is what lies ahead for the families. I would like to express my deepest sympathy to the friends and family of the victims, Evelyn Burgos and Vanessa Perez. And two-year-old Isaiah Perez is now with DCYF, the Department of Children, Youth, and Families. Family members say he has been asking for his mommy. That god sister we spoke with earlier this afternoon says she was actually with Evelyn the last night of her life. Coming up at 6, we will tell you why she says Evelyn was really looking forward to her future just hours before she was killed. Reporting live from the Northwest Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.